everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video from the end of the line series where I visit all the terminal stations of the Munich S-Bahn and this is the first video that I do not start in the S-Bahn train because yeah I did not come here by S-Bahn I came here by bus today I will tell you the story on the way so we are here in Freising which is a town yeah, it's a real town about 40,000 people live here about 40 kilometers in the northeast of Munich right next to the airport and this is Freising Station. I'm not sure if we will see an S-Bahn train today, but trust me in that the S-Bahn goes here two trains an hour. The pattern is, yeah, not every 30 minutes, but uh, between one train and the other, there are one 20 minute, uh, there's a 20 minute gap and there's a 40 minute gap. Because the train that goes here is the S1, it splits uh, in Neufahren, two stations down the line, and one half of the train goes to the airport and the other half goes here to Freising. And once an hour, the train does not split and goes all the way to the airport altogether. Which is not a problem for here. The S-Bahn is just supplementary here to this uh, city, to this town, because it has regional train service to Munich, regional train service to the airport and this huge bus station. And yeah, I came here by bus today. In this city, yeah, I grew up pretty close to here, but never had a special place in my heart. Although, yeah, I was born here. But this is all that connects me to Freising. Never liked being here, although it's it has a nice inner city. But I never found a way uh, to, to like this place. However, let's get it on and let's have a look at Freising Station. All right, here we are at Freising Station. This is the main entrance, the S-Bahn sign, the DB sign. Yeah, there's regional traffic and there's S-Bahn traffic. The station building is quite okay. There's a supermarket, you saw uh, the first blush, a uh, kiosk, even a DB travel center. So yeah, this has some things to offer, definitely. The way out, yeah, here you can see the ticket machines. So, two ways of buying the tickets, either go to the counter or do it by yourself at the machines or have a season ticket as I have or buy your ticket online via one of the apps. Absolutely no problem to find something here in Freising. The way to the tracks, yeah, you can see it's not going direct, it's going via this underpass. We will come to this in a second. But first, the newest amenity, yeah, it's not that new anymore, but yeah, there's the, there are the golden arches at uh, Freising Station, which is pretty handy at a station of this size. All right, let's head over to the platforms. Yeah, there is also an elevator, but I decided to use the stairs. The elevator, yeah, the entrance is back there. This works pretty handy, also for every disabled. And yeah, in the underpass here, there's a nice, uh, it's not a graffiti, it's a picture of uh, Freising and uh, the highlights of the city, like uh, the church, the dome, which is a pretty well-known thing. And here, of course, this is the Weinstefan Brewery, proclaiming to be the oldest beer brewery in the world. It was founded, I think it was in the 11th century, so this is really, really old. Also, Freising uh, gives a lot about uh, forest and uh, environment, so this is also shown here on the pictures in the underpass. All right, up the way towards the platform. This is platform three and four, where the trains mostly go uh, eastbound and also the S-Bahn is serving and also the S-Bahn is leaving from this platform. All right, the train pattern is pretty good, I have to say that. The S-Bahn, as mentioned, only two trains an hour, but yeah, here the S-Bahn is only supplementary as there is regional train service. There are two trains that go every hour one comes from Nürnberg, one comes from Passau. And there is also a service with the 
Alex, the Alpenland Express, that comes from Prague, respectively Hof. Yeah, this train splits also down the line. And this goes every two hours also to Munich Central Station. There's also the Airport Express, which comes from Regensburg, will soon be extended to Nuremberg, going to the airport every hour. And yeah, this is the first view of uh, the famous Freising Dom. Also a very old church. I think it is from the 13th century. There have been some upgrades on this church. Yeah, of course. And right now, a few days after recording, there's the scaffolding around both towers, not only by one. Yeah, it's a very, very famous church. Freising, the city where I was born. It's a nice one, but yeah, as mentioned, I never found the biggest relation to the city. Okay, I wanted to tell you a story about how I came there on this day. This was, hmm, yeah, I mixed it up. I uh, swapped shifts with a colleague of mine and yeah, I started working at 3.30 this day in the afternoon. But on my schedule, it still said 1.15 p.m. So I arrived at 1.15 just to find out, hey, I'm two hours early. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I mixed it up. I messed it up. So I decided, okay, let's take the bus, go to Freising, film this video, and then go back again to the airport. And this worked out pretty good, as there's not only train service to the airport, but also bus service, which leaves every 20 minutes. So I jumped on the bus, went to Freising, filmed this video, and thereafter jumped on the train, which was arriving, the airport express train, and took it back to the airport. And I even had time for lunch before starting to work. So here on the back side, you will see it soon. There's a pretty big park and ride with another bus station. And this uh, park and ride is always very busy. Yeah, Freising has a good bus connection, but from the villages outside, yeah, most people use their cars. From uh, the inner city, many people use their bikes. The bike rack is pretty big, and this uh, will not be the only bike rack we will see. There is another one. Of course, on the entrance to the station, to the trains, here we go. There is this uh, monitor showing all the departures. And yeah, you can see there are quite a lot of them. But they are concentrated on certain time windows, like uh, in five minutes the S-Bahn, three trains prior, then another gap. And this is the way from the park and ride back to the platforms. More paintings, the Isar River, hot air balloons. Yeah, we don't, at work, we do, really don't like them. They cannot steer, they are just driven by the wind. It's supposed to be a lot of fun going on the hot air balloon, but at work, I really don't like it. And there are definitely no hot air balloons operating overhead freezing because of the airport is too close. But this is the departure plan. A lot of trains going there, departing from there every day. The nature, very important. But I just found out that this is about the same pictures as the same painting as in the other corridor. So I decided, okay, let's go back up to the platform. And tell you a story. Oh no, first there's the train coming in. This is one of the regional trains that goes all the way to downtown Munich. If you look for one of the stops between Freising and Munich, the regional train does not stop between Freising and Munich. Direct service, which takes about 30 minutes, which is pretty good. Nothing bad to say about that. Yeah, at this point, normally I show you some highlights of the city, but this will not happen today because yeah, Freising is a beautiful city. It has highlights like the Dome and uh, Weinstefan and the inner city. So I decided, okay, I will not pack information and uh, uh, footage of the city into this video. I will do separate videos and I'm pretty sure there will be multiple ones where I can show you 
the city of Freising and all the highlights that are in the city. Focusing on the station only today. Yeah, the train on the left hand side, this is the regional train we just saw arriving. Double decker regional train, which is pretty good and has a pretty high capacity. Take in people from the northeast of Munich into the city. The train on the right hand side, yeah, this is an additional train service. This looks like an S Bahn, but no, it's not. This is a class 425 train, which operates as a local service from uh, Freising to Landshut and back and serving all the villages in between. But there are some. I think the train has uh, five stops between Freising and Landshut and this is only a 40 kilometer distance. So this is a real local train. And also the local train, uh, I think every two hours goes all the way to Munich with also making local stops. Not as much as the S-Bahn, but yeah. It, another view to the McDonald's, the Golden Arches, which is not uh, bad to have something like that on a station. And yeah, here uh, I'd already talked about that. These bike racks, this is so massive. I think the only time I've seen a bike rack as big as these was in Amsterdam. And yeah, the Dutch, they are totally crazy about their bikes, but Freising seems to be a part of the Netherlands. Another regional train coming in. This comes from Munich and goes either to Passau or to Nuremberg, but I suppose it's going to Nuremberg. I wrote this line recently and it was a single decker train that went to Passau. Both are hourly services. The platforms itself, yeah, they look pretty okay. Nothing bad to say about that. The height is good. The color of the platform, yeah, that's all fine. Nothing bad to say about that. The two platforms with uh, four tracks and right now there are four trains sitting here. On the far left, the regional Regionalbahn we saw. Now the Regional Express to Munich is pulling out. And on the other platform you saw the Regional Express arriving and the S-Bahn was sitting there. Yeah, we did see an S-Bahn train. And the footage of the train leaving at the very beginning of the video was actually recorded at the very end of this video. But I thought I'd put it at the front to show what's going on today, that we are at a terminal station of the S-Bahn. And now let's switch back over to the live commentary I did on this day. See you soon. Goodbye. So, and as we finally saw, yeah, there is an S-Bahn train sitting here right behind me. Uh, you can already, you can still see it. It should pull out any second, go on its way back to Leuchtenbergring via the western route, meeting the airport train at Neufahren and then going via Feldmoching, Mosach and the whole core route back to the city. So that was Freising Station, the terminal station of the Munich S-Bahn, part number five. So we have seen, uh, I think, already a lot of variety between the final stops. Just think about Kreuzstraße. Just think about Freising today. There are a lot of differences. Not everything is the same and that's good the way it is. So I really hope you enjoyed that walk around Freising station with me. Terminal station of the S-Bahn number five. I don't know where I will go next, but I will let you know as soon as the video, the next video of this series starts. So that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and see you soon back in Munich at the end of the line. Have a good time. Goodbye.